morning. Today we're going to present about rational function. The team members are Daniel Velasquez, Silvia Fernanda Lopez, Maria Clara Hernandez, and Jaime Moreno. Today, this is the problem that we will be showing how to solve. First, you will need to see if it can be factorized. So first we're going to factorize the denominator. Since it's a trinomial, we can factorize it by this, which is x and x. And the two numbers that are that give us 10 are 5 and 2. And because we need to get 3, we have to do plus 5 minus 2. So this will be our top um, factors. Then for the bottom part, we will, since it's a difference of a square, we already know that it's x minus 2 and x plus 2. This 2 will go in the denominator. With the factor form, we can see that we have the same um, expression here in x minus 2 and x minus 2, so we can cancel them. So we can rewrite the form as x plus 5 and x plus 2. This is a simplified form. To find the domain of this rational function, we need to find the value of x by solving for x in the denominator. So the denominator consists of x minus 2 is equal to 0, it will equal to 2. So this is one of the denominators, and another one is x plus 2 is equal to 0, which will equal x to minus 2. So when we write the domain, we always write it like this, x is different than plus or minus 2. For the vertical asymptote, we have to look back our, to our simplified um, function. We can see that this one is eliminated, so we don't count it, we only count this part. So we know that the vertical asymptote is x equals 2 minus 2. For the horizontal asymptote, when we, we have three rules, in this case it's m equals n, we're going to divide the leading coefficients, and if m is greater than n, there's no horizontal asymptote, and if m is less than n, it's zero. In this case, we have two and two, so we're going to divide a one that we, know we don't need to write, so it's going to be one. For the whole, we need to use the expression that we cancel. In this case, it's x minus 2. So we solve for x, and it's going to be 2. So we're going to substitute x with, with the number 2. In this case, it's going to be... It's going to be 7 over 4. To find the x intercept, you need to substitute 0 on the y intercept. Substitute 0 on the y. And the answer is negative 5. And you write it. For the y intercept, you need to substitute 0 on the x to find y. You can do this manually or you can do it on the calculator. The answer is five rows. So the first step for graphing, first we need to plot the vertical and horizontal asymptote. So the vertical asymptote is in negative two. And don't forget to always name it. And our horizontal asymptote is in one. So next, we need to plot the x and y intercept. The x intercept is in negative 5, 0. The next step is to plot the y intercept that is 0, 5 halves, that is 2.5. Then you need to plot the whole, that will be 2, 7 fourths, that is 1.7, and it will be right here. Plot it like an open circle to identify that it is a whole. And for graphing the lines, you can use a table of values, but since we already know the shape of this graph, it will go like this. And 
our last thing to do is to find the range. If you don't have a graph, you cannot find the range. In this case, it goes from negative infinity and it stops at the horizontal asymptote, asymptote that is one, union with one that is a horizontal asymptote, and then we have a hole, so it will be seven fourths, and it stops at the horizontal asymptote, asymptote that is one, union with one that is a horizontal asymptote, and then we have a hole, so it will be seven fourths, union, seven fourths, two, positive infinity.